another video. Today's a cycling day and I'm in the wrong gear going up a hill. I just cycled to the city. I was gonna take a few drone shots, but uh, the place I was gonna be, I didn't realize it's a no drone zone. So being sensible, not getting dr drone shots there, but maybe we'll get some later on. Shattered soul, you took control. Hi, this is Future Mark. I just wanted to ask you a question because like I've been sharing a lot about me and there's something that I want to know about you. And you know, first of all, thanks for tuning in. But what is your primary sport? You know, write it down in the comment section, you know, what's your favorite thing? Running, swimming, cycling, walking, uh, crossfit, aerobics, step fit, whatever it is. Just let me know what it is. It'd be really interesting for me to know like who who does what and everything. <laughs> So you know the forest that is about two kilometers away from my house where I go running all the time? Well, actually, this is it. It starts down at the city, Helsinki city center, and goes about, I think, 13 kilometers north. And it's such a big central park with like real deep forest. I mean, look at this. This is practically almost the city center. And it's super, super like densely populated actual forest. So, it's pretty cool that for city goers, people coming to the city to visit, you can even come and experience some of Helsinki or Finland's outdoors and nature, which is like so awesome. Free, finally, I paid my dues. Now you play the blues. Bottom line, get out of town. Rather than just treating this bike ride as a Jolly Boys outing, well, singular, one boy, uh, I'm going to do a few little intervals and just spice it up a little bit keep me kind of active and it's quite nice to do someone spinning them out on the legs i really enjoy doing that so we'll get into them and i'll see you on the other side now you're gonna learn what it's like to lose you took something beautiful and made it something cool it's all that i get from you there we go interval session done and uh, so it went really well, nice and easy. As I said, nothing too complicated, nothing too hard. Hey, one second, let's actually stop and we'll talk about it. That's better, it makes it easier just to talk for us to sit down and plus, you know, nice to have a break and enjoy the views. So today's session was, it wasn't actually pre-planned, I just made it up on the fly. It was 20 by 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. There wasn't actually any intensity to it and the muscles didn't have any fatigue. It's just about spinning out and uh, getting the legs moving and everything. Because as I said this morning, maybe I didn't say it actually, my calves were a little bit tight from a run yesterday or the previous few days. So this is just a perfect little thing to do. It's not about adding stress to the body, but aiding the recovery. And that's why the session, that's what I did. Why not? I'm gonna take advantage of the sun coming out, sink down on this rock and everything have myself a cliff bar, just fuel up a little bit and then I guess ride home back either through the forest or along the river. There's the riverside because it's quicker, flatter and there's a big tailwind behind me so Feels nice and easy and I'm cruising home. When you look around, it all looks a little bit brown, doesn't it? Apart from me, I stand out. That's why I like the big flora colors. But in all seriousness, that's why I do pick up like clothes that are fluorescent or are brightly colored so that I can stand out, not stand out like in a way that I can be seen by people and go, oh good, look at him. But I mean, by, you know, that people are visible when you're cycling, when you're running, so you're easily recognizable from any dangers or anything or to alert anyone. For on YouTube, when you see me running past or cycling past and I'm wearing bright colors, you stand out from the distance. Ah, just got back uh, and I didn't quite realize that I look like a grandma or my grandma when I'm like this. But uh, quite the stylish look, isn't it? What do you think? Cheers everyone. Nice and solid, one and a half hours on the bike. Did about 27 kilometers on the gravel roads. 
Funnily enough, just before I arrived home, I bumped into Mikko, who was a workmate. Funny thing is, we were both cycling and we're both like real keen lovers of running. I had a real productive day today so far. Cycling, editing videos, and now I'm gonna do some studying of some sort. I just got back from the supermarket. I don't know why, but I was gonna bring you in there and show you around, but uh, then as soon as I got in there and started putting stuff in my basket, I realized that my hands were contaminated. <laughs> and uh, I couldn't touch the camera because then I didn't want to clean the camera, blah, 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 I'm sure you understand. So I decided to just kind of wing it and wait till we get home. And well, here I am now at home and I'm gonna close off the video here and just have a nice evening. Enjoy some of this food that I've just bought. Watch uh, some Netflix. I'm watching that Tiger King I finally gave in. Uh, Emma told me about it and I saw so many people talking about it and I thought, hey, why not? I've got a lot of time on my hands at the moment and it's nice to relax and watch something. So I'm gonna sit back and watch that. This is the longest outro ever, but thank you very much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Stick it to you.